They have safely returned to Earth after spending over nine months in space due to unexpected delays after a glitch in the Boeing Starliner. Now, their spacecraft, which is SpaceX's Dragon, has successfully splashed down off the coast of Florida at 3.27 a.m. IST. This has marked the end of a mission that lasted 286 days. In a very sweet moment, a pod of dolphins were in fact seen swimming around the spacecraft as recovery teams worked to retrieve the crew. Meanwhile, a Sunita Williams, of course, beamed with joy as she stepped out of SpaceX's Dragon capsule. She was waving and smiling after returning back to Earth. You can see those visuals on your screens. Joining us on the broadcast are two very special guests at the moment, Dr. Satyavendra Kumar, who is the director of uh, the Indian Space Academy. We also have uh, Dr. S. Pal Singh, former ISRO scientist. Good afternoon to both our guests who have taken our time to speak with us. I would like to go across to uh, Dr. Satyavendra Kumar. Um, sir, uh, what do you make of this entire mission? You know, both astronauts were originally supposed to be in space for a mere eight days. That was, of course, augmented to nine months. It's been quite a grueling time for them. They've had to adjust not just physically, but also psychologically. Um, so what do you think has transpired? There are several health concerns as well at the moment. We're also being told that there's going to be a 45-day rehabilitation program to get them used to being back on earth because they've lived in a microgravity for so long exercising nearly an hour and a half every single day uh, to keep uh, their physical fitness in check so how do you think they're going to once again assimilate back to earth first of all namaskar and thanks to invite me here jaisa abhi hum sab ne dekha ki Sunita William Ji and Butch Mora Ji to hai. Vapsi ek kar chuki hai Nine months, month of incense. Agar kaha jaye, to ye starting se start karenge. To dekha jayega to jo ye sirf seven to eight days ke liye, wahan par as a explore karne, as a experiment karne. केस में क्या होता है कि वो केस में वहां पर जाके कुछ एलियंस रिलीज हो जाता है स्पेस क्राफ्ट में से देन वो फंस जाते हैं कहां गया फंस नहीं आते इन द सेंस वो वहां पर एक लॉन्ग लॉन्ग टाइम के लिए स्टैंड करते हैं 9 मंथ्स का ड्यूरेशन हो जाता है मेंटली एंड फिजिकली दे प्रिपेयर फॉर द ओनली 8 डेज राइट सिर्फ 8 दिन के लिए तैयार होकर गए थे 8 दिन इज नॉट अ हार्डली टाइम ड्यूरेशन फॉर द फिजिकली एंड मेंटली बट इन फॉर्चूनेटली जैसा कि मापन को लॉन्ग टाइम तक रहना पड़ता है नाइन मंथ्स के लिए उस ड्यूरेशन जो है उनकी बॉडी एंड मेंटल स्टेट दोनों ही प्रिपेयर नहीं हुए बट वहाँ पर जैसे कि सुविधाएं हैं हमारे आई के अंदर जिम्स की एंड इनकी जो ट्रेनिंग होती है अस्टोनोट की हमारे उसके अकॉर्डिंग उन्होंने काफ़ी अच्छे से उन नाइन मंथ्स को इन्जॉय किया एक्सप्लोर एक्सप्लोर किया एक्सपेरिमेंट्स किए उन्होंने उस नाइन मंथ्स के अंदर बॉडी का फिजिकली बॉन्स बॉन्स मीन मेंटली स्टेट साइकोलॉजिकल एंड फिजिकली बॉन्स बोन्स में क्या होता है कि हमारे बोन्स में वहाँ के नॉन ग्रेविटी के हिसाब से कमजोर हो जाती है ना वीकनेस पड़ जाती है वीक बाई वीक रीजन है इसका जब हम अपने ग्रेविटी एरिया में होते हैं अर्थ में होते हैं तो अर्थ वाले कनेक्शन में ऐसा होता है कि हम लोग जब भी कोई वर्कआउट करते हैं या फिजिकली वर्क करते हैं तो एक एक फोर्स लगता है न्यूटन फर्स्ट में उस फोर्स के अकॉर्डिंगली हमारी जो बॉडी है वो काम करती है बट स्पेस में नॉन ग्रेविटी एरिया होने की वजह से वहाँ पर किसी भी वक्त करने के लिए डबल फोर्स लगता है या फिर नॉन फोर्सिंग एरिया रहता है जिससे कहते हैं कि हमारी बॉडी को काम करने की ना फिजिकली हम लोग बोन से कुछ जो मसल्स होते हैं वो हमारे वर्कआउट नहीं होते हैं सब रिलीज हो जाता है किसी भी चीज़ को हमें उठाने के लिए या इस केस में बॉडी रिलैक्स मोड चली जाती है और मसल्स एंड बोन्स कमजोर होती जब 
वापसी आते हैं एंड वापसी वाले केस में बोन्स और मसल दोनों को वीकनेस हो जाते हैं इसी के करीब चलते हुए मेंटली और फिजिकली प्रिपेयर करने के लिए इन सबसे पहले मेंटली और फिजिकली ट्रीटमेंट के लिए मेडिकल सम्स भी आता है जो कि फोर्टी फाइव डेज अप्रोक्स का एक टाइम ड्यूरेशन रहता है टू मंथ्स के अप्रोक्स इनको लग पाएगा वापस स्टेबल होने के लिए कि कैसे कैसे स्टेबल हो सकते हैं स्टार्टिंग से लेकर और एंडिंग तक के प्रोग्रेशन इसमें बोन्स एक एक और मेजर फीट होता है इसमें बेबी फीट वाला केस बेबी फीट मीन्स हमारी बॉडी तो प्रॉपर एक मेन्स वाली रहती है हेल्दी बट जो हमारे फीट होते हैं जो हमारे पैर होते हैं वो एक बेबी फीट वाली कंडीशन जाती है बेबी फीट मीन्स जैसे बेबी पैदा होता है जो बेबी बॉर्न होता है जब उस डेशन में उसका जो फीट होते हैं उस वाले केस में हमारे फीट रहते हैं क्यों रीजन है इसका नॉन ग्रेविटी एरिया में रहते हैं फीट वर्कआउट नहीं होता है मसल्स यूज नहीं होती है बेबी फीट मिल जाती है बेबी फीट इज अ वेरी बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम इस केस में हम स्टैंड नहीं हो पाते हैं हमारे जो स्टूडेंट्स हैं वो स्टैंड नहीं कर पाएंगे खड़े नहीं हो पाएंगे चल नहीं पाएंगे इनको इसलिए प्रिपरेशन करने के लिए लॉन्ग टाइम तक देखना पड़ता है इसके अलावा साइकोलॉजिकल ऐसा होता है कि साइकोलॉजिकल हमारी साइकोलॉजी वहाँ पर ऐसी बन चुकी होती है कि कुछ भी चीज़ को उठाने के लिए हमें पता है कि हमें मसल्स का यूज नहीं करना है मेंटली स्ट्रेंथ हमारा ऐसा होता है कि चाहे वो वन के का आइटम हो चाहे फ़ोन हो चाहे लैपटॉप हो या कुछ भी हो मेंटली स्ट्रेंथ हमारा ये कहता है कि हमें कुछ भी उठाने के लिए हमें अपना मसल्स या बॉडी का स्ट्रक्चर में यूज नहीं करना पड़ता बट अब यहाँ पर साइकोलॉजी चेंज हो चुकी है आपके पास आप पे आते हमसे फिर से ग्रेविटी वाला फोर्स हमें लगेगा तो ग्रेविटी फोर्स के अकॉर्डिंगली हमें जो फिर से प्रॉब्लम फेस करनी पड़ेगी बट इतने टाइम ड्यूरेशन में नाइन्थ मंथ्स के अंदर हम लोग वहाँ पर रहे हैं तो मेंटली में ये सेट हो चुका है कि हमें कुछ भी वेटेड वाला आइटम उठाएंगे दैट इज और हम उसको कभी भी थ्रो आउट कर सकते हैं कि हमें लगेगा कि स्पेस में उठ रहा है इस साइकोलॉजिकल स्टेट को भी स्टेट में लाया जाता है इसमें भी टाइम लगता है इस केस में क्या होता है कोई कोई स्टूडेंट सोचता है कि अभी भी हमें कोई चीज़ रिफ्यू हुआ तो हवा में तैरती रहेगी बट ऐसा नहीं है इन दो तीन चीजों को लेकर इंस्ट्रक्शन चलती रहती है ट्रीटमेंट किया जाता है राइट इसके अलावा जो ब्लड सेल्स होते हैं तीस लाख लाल जो हमारे ब्लड सेल्स होते हैं उसमें भी नुकसान होता है कुछ वेट लॉस भी होता है मसल सप्रेशन के अंदर बेशक ये ट्रेनिंग कितने भी करते हैं खाने पीने की कितनी भी चीज़ें लेते हैं खाना पीना भी यहाँ पर जो होता है फ्रोजन होता है उसमें भी इतना प्रिप्शन नहीं हो पाता है डेली बेस पर जो खाना होता है उन चीज़ों को लेकर भी बहुत सी प्रॉब्लम फेस करनी पड़ती है साथ ही साथ अगर हम बात करें कि जैसे भी इन्होंने समय बिताया अपना देख, देखा जाए तो मतलब इनका एक बहुत ही बड़ा अचीवमेंट भी है और बहुत सारे एक्सपेरिमेंट भी कर रहे हैं हम चाहते हैं कि हमें भारत को भी हमारे गगनयान के लिए बहुत सी चीज देखने को सीखने को मिली होगी इंडीड गगनयान अपना लेके जाने वाले हैं That's that's going to happen next year. You've aptly put it, and that's my next question. I'd like to take this forward to Dr. S. Pal Singh, a former ISRO scientist. We've just heard uh, Dr. Satyavendu speak about what exactly uh, there are some learnings for India itself for our uh, Gaganyaan mission. Now, what's interesting is that this Dragon capsule is also going to be used by the Axiom team. of which uh, uh, group captain shubhanshu shukla is a part of they're going to be uh, launching very very soon their mission is going to be for 14 days in the international uh, space station uh, so we will be keeping our eyes peeled for that but dr jitendra singh spoke in the parliament today he's also said that uh, we're going to be carrying out the final trials for gaganyaan very soon uh, so what can india learn from this entire mission Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I think from as a space technologist, I'll tell you. First of all, India is learning many things, you know, from the beginning itself. Uh, let, let me take some couple of uh, seconds. In 2007, we launched one satellite called Space Recovery Experiment, and we recovered it. We sent a satellite. It remained in the orbit for one week, and we recovered it back in Bay of Bengal, almost on the same lines. as the dragon has been recovered so that way we started working on these uh, technology development and the protocols development uh, since long almost uh, two, it's a uh, two decades that we are working on those things now we have in the gaganyaan experiment has been conducted two trials have been conducted for the you know space escape system I mean suppose something happens at the launch pad then the top where the uh, crew is stay uh, there That crew, I mean, uh, rocket fires. The 
high velocity rocket fires and to land in the sea. So that's uh, also experiment has been conducted. The vehicle which is uh, will take it, so a Bahubali or a LVM-3, that is uh, getting uh, certified for human rating. Okay, C certification for human rating is not is very difficult. You no, know, you have to have a couple of launches. There should not be any failure. There should not be any gl glitches. Everything should be perfect. So that also is being done. As far as the training of the astronauts is concerned, it's uh, uh, going on. Uh, persons went to Russia, persons went to France. Now uh, two persons, uh, Group Captain Subhanshu Shukla uh, and uh, Balkis, Group Captain Balkish Nayar, uh, they have gone to USA. They will, one of them will be a part of HGM. So that will go to ISS. Uh, you uh, said about the Dragon's spacecraft. You know, hopefully the Dragon will be there. Otherwise, even the Starliner uh, a capsule is also ready. They have made all the modifications. Actually, this uh, it has taken nine months because even Dragon has to do a lot of modifications in light of what has happened to the Starliner. And it was uh, I was there some uh, ten days back. In that one, I was told by some experts from NASA that uh, it was ready. Even they could have gone two months back also. But the, there is, uh, you know, quality assurance protocols and human rating protocols made it mandatory to do all the tests. See, it's a welcome sign that all the four astronauts have come back. Uh, uh, the two of them stayed for nine months. The others also stayed for a long time. However, both astronauts, uh, you know, Sunita William and uh, Will Moray, uh, they have stayed. This is, I think, their third trip to the space. So they are not novice. They are veterans in as far as space is concerned. And it will take uh, almost... Uh, I mean, 45 days to two months for them to recover. Now, there are two types of losses or damages. One is reversible, which you know, the height will be increased, the weight will be lost, and uh, muscular atrophy will be there. All those things will be recorded back by the using the exercises, medicines, and there are big protocol for this thing. If any damage has occurred to eyes or uh, you know, cap blood capillaries, etc., because of the pressure difference, etc., that may become a problem. Another one is radiation damage. See, they have stayed for a longer period. Of course, the longest period one uh, astronaut has stayed is 662 days. It's a Russian astronaut who stayed in 662 days. We don't have what were the impacts, you know, because nothing comes out of uh, Russia so easily. Uh, but persons have stayed, uh, and these three astronauts, two astronauts are veterans, so they know what are the protocols. Once they come back to Earth, they have to follow it up. Uh, what I feel personally is that they will miss the space. You know, once you are uh, lonely, you start liking the loneliness. So that may be a psychological problem. Other, many other psychological things may also be there. So th there are experts. There are health workers, hundreds of them are there who will take care of all the things. So once they are on Earth, there is uh, nothing, uh, no, nothing to worry about it, except some damages which may not be reversible, like I told you, radiation damage, etc., which may affect the brain. So thank you very much. Thank you. Right, with that, I would like to thank both guests who have taken our time to speak to NewsX today. Uh, before I move on, I have um, the statement that has been put out by ISRO. Of course, ISRO has welcomed back uh, Sunita Williams, he, uh, ISRO chief uh, Dr. V. Narayanan has spent this tweet. He stated that uh, your safe return after an extended mission aboard the ISS is a remarkable achievement, a testament to NASA, SpaceX and the USA's commitment to space exploration. Your resilience and dedication continue to inspire space enthusiasts across the world. As Secretary, Department of Space and Chairman of ISRO, I on behalf of my colleagues extend Warm greetings to you and wish you a great day ahead when Bharat under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi is working towards making India a developed country. We wish to utilize your expertise in space exploration. Of course, a very, very big hint as far as our Gaganyaan mission is concerned. The final test trials shall take place later in this year as informed by Dr. Jitendra Singh in the Lok Sabha today itself and uh, ISRO chief 
uh, Dr. V. Narayanan stating that there's of course a lot to learn from Sunita Williams uh, as far as her experience in space, uh, especially over the last nine months is concerned. Yes, she's a seasoned astronaut, but what they've gone through has been yet another challenge. And speaking of uh, the Prime Minister, he's also put out a tweet. I'd like to read that to our viewers as well. He's welcome back, Crew 9, stating that the Earth has missed them. And theirs has been a test of grit, courage and the boundless uh, human spirit. Sunita Williams and the Crew 9 astronauts have once again shown us what perseverance truly means. Their unwavering determination in the face of vast unknown will forever inspire millions. Space exploration is about pushing the limits of human potential, daring to dream and having the courage to turn those dreams into reality. Sunita Williams, a trailblazer and an icon, has exemplified the spirit throughout her career. We are incredibly proud of all those who work tirelessly to ensure their safe return. Of course, a shout out to the SpaceX and NASA team. Uh, he's also gone on to state that they have demonstrated what happens when precision meets passion and technology meets tenacity. Here, of course, Prime Minister Modi has attached an old photo of him meeting uh, Sunita Williams earlier. She's, of course, been a U.S. Navy pilot before this, clocking in more than 3,000 hours uh, of flight time. And uh, she's been an astronaut. She's been in space since uh, she's, her first flight was all the way back in 2006. And uh, she's also the first woman to run a marathon, the first person uh, in uh, space to also uh, do a triathlon, so a trailblazer as aptly pointed out by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Meanwhile viewers, my colleague Uday Pratap Singh has uh, spoken to Shiv Sena UBT Member of Parliament Priyanka Chaturvedi on uh, Sunita Williams' return. Let's listen into this conversation. Well, good news, of course, has come in uh, for the United States, but also for us in India, because our Indian diaspora uh, astronaut Sunita Williams is back on planet Earth. Joining us to speak about this issue is Rajya Sabha Member of Parliament, Priyanka Chaturvedi. Uh, thank you for speaking with us, ma'am. Uh, good news has come in. Uh, what would you say about this? Uh, firstly, I'm glad that she's back. It has been a nine-month wait for her, and this, is, this has been an unprecedented stay uh, outside of planet Earth. So for her return, I wish her a speedy recovery, because I I do believe there could be some health challenges and that she gets looked after. Uh, the government of US also deserves congratulations for what they have done. And for India, it's a good moment, happy moment. I will continue to wish her all the very best in the country she is uh, participating in the space program for. She had said earlier that she wants to perhaps visit India soon after she's back. Uh, but do you believe she has truly made uh, all of us, uh, not just in India, but uh, for all of you women as well, very proud? I think she's a symbol of resilience. She's a symbol of strength. She's a symbol of uh, showing that women, there's no, nothing that can stop women from performing their duties and for what they are. And she, she is a symbol of that, totally. Thank you, Thank you so much. With Vijayanalist Dinesh Thakur, Udaya Pratap Singh.